What's your name, buddy? Sylvester. And what are you doing hanging out on the street corner here, Sylvester? Uh, selling, selling fentanyl, you know, trying to get by. I live on the streets, so I got to make a living somehow. I don't want to rob stores or nothing. I've got about 10 years in the pen. This way here, I stay out. And how's business? Are you selling a lot? Booming, man. Like, you, you can never have enough. So how many people are buying fentanyl from you each day? 100, 150. Every day? Every day. Is the dealing here quite organized? Is there like a bit of a kind of chain of command to it? Yeah, different gangs run different alleys. I'm on a 12 hour shift. How do you get that job? Because I don't think they're advertising that in the newspaper, right? No, no, through connection, mostly coming out of jail. What's fentanyl done to the community around here? Destroyed it. I lost like 40 people that I know well close to me in the last three years. People never did drugs in their life, picked it up once, dead. From fentanyl? From fentanyl. Is it possible any of them got that fentanyl from you? It's possible. Does that bother you? To an extent, but they're going to get this from somebody, right? I mean, I guess apart from anything else, it's not great business practice to be killing your customers, right? No. I don't think anybody wanted anybody to die, but the thing is, heroin, it used to come and it's heroin. This fentanyl, we're making it ourselves. You go online on the, on the dark web, you order an ounce of fentanyl from China. It costs you 350 bucks, pay an extra 50 bucks, the next day it's delivered right to your door.